welcome to the channel. I um, wanted to show you some uh, Amazon, you know, I, I don't know, some of you guys know that I, I have a deal on Amazon where I got invited into being a Vine voice, so I'm one of the people that gets offered free stuff for uh, me to use, review, and talk about. So anyways, um, I have a couple of motorcycles, that's a 2022 KLR 650, this is a 2018 Kawasaki Concourse. Um, a lot of the motorcycle covers that I've tried um, were a little bit small, so I started buying like really big ones, like this one's considered a triple extra large, 113 inch. I have a brand new, um, right here, I have a brand new 108 inch uh, motorcycle cover that we're going to try, but I wanted to show you real quick that uh, uh, this, this uh, on a Kawasaki Concourse or the KLR 650 with the, uh, like a Gibby box on the back, side cases, you know, this is like a fared uh, sport touring bike, I'll show you real quick, so this is like a, uh, sort of like a, it's a, a ninja turned into a touring bike, I guess, the, the Concourse C14, but um, with this cover, they give you a, uh, a cinch strap that clips in on either side, there's two, two green wings on this one, and I'll, I'm going to give you links for this, so these wings uh, go down, you clip the strap, throw it under, clip the strap, pull it tight, and uh, that holds it, and then they also have, um, there's slots in the cover for either side of the front tire to put a chain or something through, so... <laughs> Some guys, you know, live in the cities and whatnot that have theft, so you see that? And that, right? So you can take this down tight, and you can run a cable lock or a chain through there on the front rim. They do the same thing back here in the rear. So on the rear, they give you, right here, I don't know if you can see that green, there's a slot on either side of the rear that you can run your security chain through, you can pull this out this way, get a little bit lower on the back, um, like I said, this is a 113, this one is a 104, so the question is, the 113 fits the um, concourse, this is the bigger of the two, right, so if you're going to test it, you're going to test it on the concourse to see if this will work for your adventure touring bikes or whatever. So 113 definitely uh, has plenty of room. Also, it has uh, screen ventilation with a Velcro over flap. I'm not sure why you would want to un-Velcro it or why you would want to leave it open. Yeah, this does allow the bike to breathe and moisture to, to sort of work its way out in an upward motion as well. Okay. So, again, I will provide the link so that if you're interested, this, this one's waterproof. I've had it outside in the rain. Water will bead on it if you have any like areas that can trap. It will bead water. Uh, doesn't soak through. Now it's not real thick. I don't know how many winters it would last if you stored your bike outside. It would probably last a couple winters. But it doesn't have that heavy vinyl backing like you see on more like I'm going to say boat covers and things that are like heavier duty style covers. They'll have like this is like a super heavy tent material. Yeah, you know, like I've never had a tent that was this heavy. Uh, but that's it, it stops there. It doesn't have that rubberized or vinyl uh, backing added to it, right? So um, I'm guessing that this would last a few years of you know, outdoor storage, winter storage for your bike. All right, so now I'm going to remove the 113 inch cover. off the back here. The more bags you have, the more crap you got to deal with. I'm going to move my helmet and I'm going to go ahead and move this thing over to the Mighty Killer. Now I have a real high V-stream windscreen on the KLR. So, um, you know, that, and plus I have the Gibby trunk on the back, well, the Chinese version of the Gibby trunk on the back, right? So 
we gotta get out past the bags. And then up here, get out past our lights and mirrors. Right, and we can eat that kale oil up. In my opinion, is my KLR is about as big as you can make a KLR. It has everything added to it. You know, that old men that want to do touring would possibly want to. So I can store and protect and cover the bike real easy with that 113. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab the 108. Try not to mess around too much. Oh, by the way, when you buy these covers, you will never in your life get it back in this bag. Uh, if, if this one does, it will be the first one ever. But Now, um, I have another cover that I use on this bike that I like because it has the branded emblem that goes like right on the windshield. So whenever you're you know, grabbing the cover... Now, this is a very weird, like sort of thinner, plasticier nylon, this one here. Now... This one is a $25.99 uh, Amazon retail price. That one, I believe, was like $37. Now, right off the bat, this one feels cheaper, thinner, more plasticky. Um, like that, I believe, you're going to get multiple years of winter storage out of it if you keep it you know, pulled down cinch tight. I would be shocked if this went a full winner. Um, okay, this one does have a branded emblem on the front, which I'm going to assume based on another brand that I have, that that goes over the windshield. But boy, is this thing really thin. Um, what this has really nice is, is it has a real high reflective treatment. So let's go ahead and sort of get it on the bike. And I'm basing everything off of this emblem and assuming that these are your security rings, so you have steel rings going through. Let's see, am I blocking you? There's steel rings, I'm guessing, yeah, for your security chain, right? So we're going to go down centering those on the front tire. Get out over my mirror and levers and cut on a lever. Okay, so we'll drop down. Cut on, levers, mirrors. Now we got a strap hiding in here. There we go. Alright. You can hear the sound difference, I think, how oddly plastic baggy this sounds. I mean, I guess this is probably going to be more waterproof based on that. Boy, that's tight. It made it. The 108. The 108 on the concourse with the bag. Yeah, it did make it. Now here's your center right there. So this has that real nice high reflective treatment to it. Uh, you can fold the mirrors in, kind of bring your profile in a little bit. Come down on your front tire. Make sure you pull down around your foot pegs. Now this one has a strap also that you can clip the right to the left so that the wind can't accidentally grab this and pull it off. So on this side we have, I don't know if you can see that, this is the female, that's the male. So you basically would loosen that strap. Let's see if I can reach it here. I uh, didn't throw it under enough. Here we go. Now the question is, can I make it on this big of a bike? And I got to loosen the strap all the way there. Yeah, I did. I made it underneath the bike. So right now, this is on the bike. It's clipped. It's secured. Everything is good. Um, everything about this $25 one feels kind of cheesy. Um, this one feels much like three times the material thickness, much heavier duty. This one here, like $36, $37. I'll give a link on both of these. I would say this is fine for indoor use. If you're going to have your bike and you're going to store it in your garage uh, under a deck, keeping UV and generally keeping a lot of moisture off, saving the $10 might be worth it to you. I know that wouldn't be to me. Um, 
ten dollars doesn't mean that much to me, right? So if I was doing it like th this one here that I'm going to give you a link to is so much better. This also has a zipper on the side. I don't know if you noticed the green, the green stripe on the side of this one. Okay, this is a zipper, just like how a lot of car covers have a zipper around the driver's door to let you get access. So if you want to get to your, um, if you want to get to your uh, maintenance charging port unplug it or replug it or you want to get your uh, legal paperwork out of it to redo your registration for the year or something like that you can just run that zipper and get into your bags or whatever you want to do without having to unclip remove that cover so everyone bought this cover for like the 10 12 bucks difference in price um this is the one to get this one looks cool i like this reflective treatment i wish it was on that one um but this one like i said is more for um storage indoors or in a slightly controlled environment this one uh would end up being a much better cover and i'll tell you what i bought from cycle gear years ago they had a motorcycle cover i had a v-strom 1000 i bought and it was i think i paid 70 80 bucks for it whatever it was their extra large and it was very similar material wise in every way to that one it was not this real thin this is like them cheap tents you get at walmart that's what this feels like that real sheer cheap tents right waterproof for a bit and that's about it that one's way 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 better um all right so anyways i don't know how many of you ride motorcycles and how many of you are uh, thrifty and try to find cheap sources of you know, motorcycle protection um but my thing i hate spending 100 bucks on a bike cover or more you can spend more um for the 35 ish dollars that that one over there that's the way to go that's the bomb so uh, i'm going to give you a link to three because i have that one that i like i have the other one that i have up at my camp in the mountains that i like and i have this one that i don't like and i will say that with the link that this is the one that i did not favor and I like that one, and I like the other one equally. They're both much heavier duty, much better. Um, this one is bigger. The 113 is bigger than the other one. Um, for a larger bike like this with bagged out like this, that 113 is what you want to get. So, hey, thank you, man. I appreciate you guys watching me. And uh, I'll try to get another video to you later. Goodbye, guys.